Brandon, thank you. And now to the history-making game, more than 33 million Americans watching the Buckeyes face off against the Ducks. Ohio State toppling Oregon 42-20 in the first-ever college football national championship. In the stands, we couldn't help but to notice Ohio native LeBron James right there. He was then on the field celebrating with that third-string quarterback who made it all happen. The Ohio State Buckeyes are the first national champions of the playoff era. The new era ushered in with more than 85,000 fans watching in AT&T Stadium. We were right there with them. The most viewed cable TV program of all time. The underdog Buckeyes toppling the Oregon Ducks. With the third string quarterback who wasn't even supposed to be there. Cardell Jones, so impressive. Oh, what a play. Cardell Jones, the quarterback only because the team had lost their first two. He didn't even start until the postseason. But there was someone who always knew Cardell could do it. Back home, it was a tough beginning for Cardell in Cleveland, the youngest of six. Not knowing some days where the next meal was going to come from. He went to the only all-male public high school, the Ginn Academy, East Cleveland. And he was assigned a mentor named Michelle Nash. I just saw something in his eye. I just seen like a sweet kid. They needed something. Over the years, though, he wouldn't call her his mentor. He began to call her mom. And that's what he calls me. Miss Blessing. But last night, another blessing for her, the boy she believed in. Once considered at risk, now at the center of the first national championship. This is an unreal feeling, you know. Looking at all this confetti ball. Let me say a moment. This is a ball. <laughs> a hug for the third stringer led them to victory. What an incredible story. It was great to be there last night. And one more image from the big game. Look at this. His name is Greg Burks, one of the refs there. People studying his face during the game, did he look familiar to you? Because so many noticed the similarity with legendary comedian Bob Newhart, even Newhart. And tonight, he's responding, tweeting, in regards to my new career as a head ref, hey, I don't have a series anymore. I had to do something. Not bad, that was kind of fun. The whole thing was an incredible thing to be part of. And there is still much more ahead on World News tonight. This Tuesday, Lost at Sea.